So here's the problem. We start off with a mana crypt roll. Oh! Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. You have to roll on board. You have to call it. You have to say. You have to be yeah, real clear right. about this. Before you roll it. Yep. As per so, Jeff. Odds, I lose the game. Oh please. Hello there. I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode, we are playing some CEDH, and not just any CEDH, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Commander CEDH. We actually did a little bit of deck brewing ourselves with this game. The decks might not be as tuned as if we just got them on the CDH database, but it was a really fun time sort of building our own decks. We follow some fairly regular win lines, but it was interesting giving this a try. There might be a little bit more funk, junk, and jank in this game, but if you do enjoy it, let us know and maybe we'll do this in the future. If you want to continue to see awesome edited gameplay like this, there's a few things you can do to help us. First, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Both of those tell YouTube we're doing a good job and help our videos get seen. Second, if you like any of the cards we play today and want to pick them up yourself, first check our LGS game grid. They have a great selection of singles, and when you use our affiliate link, we get supported at no cost to you. You can also get 10% off of your first order by using the code KINGDOMS1 at checkout. Last but not least, we continue to add more and more benefits to being a member of the kingdom, so you can join here or on Patreon at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. All right, let's check out our commanders and our deck goals for our game today. Starting us off is Jason S playing Shorakai Genesis Engine. Jason is looking to use Shorakai to dig through his deck for control pieces until he can get a polymorph effect, use it on a pilot token, and then plop out Holebreaker Horror into a couple different win conditions. His starting hand includes Mana Confluence, Minamo School at Water's Edge, Otawara Soaring City, Mana Crypt, Flusterstorm, Proteus Staff, and Supreme Verdict. Second, we have John S. playing the Reality Chip. John is looking to use the Reality Chip and Sensei's Divining Top with a Cost Reducer to draw his deck and win with a Thassa's Oracle. His starting hand includes an Island, Ancient Tomb, Misty Rainforest, Mana Crypt, Mox Opal, Ristic Study, and Shimmer Mirror. I'm third playing Tamashi Reality Architect. I'm looking to assemble one of the few infinite turn combos, leveraging Tamashi's second ability into a Jace or Thassa's Oracle win. My starting hand includes a Snow-Covered Island, Prismatic Vista, Tundra, Jeweled Lotus, Mishra's Bobble, Cyclonic Rift, and Mirror Maid. Fourth, we have Ben playing Godama of the West Tree. Ben's goal is to get out utility and stacks creatures and load them up with plus one plus one counters. This deck looks to kill with combat damage with some backup green combos. His starting hand includes two forests, Yavamaya Cradle of Growth, Jeweled Lotus, Allosaur Shepherd, Sylvan Library, and Rishkar's Expertise. All right, let's play some CEDH. Good luck to me. Yeah, we'll just double check. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good luck to you. Good luck, Ben. Good luck, Ben. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play Minamo, School at the Water's Edge. I'm play Mana Crypt. And Proteus Staff. <laughs> sure. Oh, crap. Alright, draw. Let's go Island. <laughs> Mana Crypt. <laughs> Ristic Study. Oh, come on. And I guess I'll go ahead and throw out a Mox Opal while I'm at it. Go ahead, Carlos. I'll draw for turn. I'll play a Tundra. And then I'll play a Jewel Lotus. In the draw card. Well, can I pay? I think I can pay, actually. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> All right. I'll play Tamashi with the uh, Jewel Lotus, and I can't pay for that one. Great. Um, man, I don't really want to give this to you, but I think I should. Yeah. You don't, if you don't, someone else will. Mistress Bobble, and I'll pass. Draw. Play a forest, and I'm gonna crack for an Allosaurus Shepherd. Draw card. Yeah. yeah. Here, right, I hate to do it, but here's another one. Here. Game's over. We just gave him every card. I'm gonna crack and cast my commander as well. Draw card. I'll pass. Untap. Draw. I forgot to roll for crypt. Odds. I take damage. That's an even number. I'll play planes as my land for turn. Let's do it. Cast my commander. Draw. Not paying one. And I'll pass the turn. Alright. Untap. Uh, roll for crypt. Because I'm not going to miss the trigger. Odds take damage. Even. No damage. Come on. Uh, draw for turn. Ancient tomb. 
And then let's go with a Mystic Remora. I I'm going to pass the turn, discarding Soul Talisman and Torpor Orb. Let's I'm going it. to crack Mishra's Bobble into turn and look at the top card of your deck, John. Oh. <laughs> then I draw a card on my next upkeep, so I'll untap, draw for upkeep, draw for regular draw step. I'm going to play a Prismatic Vista. Crack it for an island. Lose a life. I think I'll swing two at John. Yeah, you got it. Pass the turn. Well, on tap. I'm going to play a Yava Mile Cradle of Growth. Wow. I'm going to tap for two green, and I hate to do this, but a uh, Sylvan Library. You draw can draw. Two. That's it. On uh, tap. Draw. Evens, I don't take damage from Crypt. With you in your upkeep, uh, after the trigger resolves, your commander makes a it's dude. Yeah. So you can do both right now. Like right now, Holebreaker. Uh, or... This is only as a sorcery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your turn, though. Correct. As soon as I give you priority on your uh -huh. turn. Do you have anything, John, to stop that? Uh, um... As soon as we give him priority. Well, that's not true. He has to make a dude first, huh? He's got to make a dude, but yeah. There are no spells to be countered that are going to enter the stack from here. Yeah, Might. I'm going to try it's like Conic Rift on the commander. You're going to let John draw seven cards or whatever? Yeah, do I, do I draw two? I have nothing for a Holebreaker Horror, you know? Uh, So I'm going to activate my commander and make a dork. Crap, I missed right. up. Yeah, I target okay. the staff. <laughs> I, I, I think with priorities already moved, but... <sighs> That's fine if you want to if you want to take that back. I think I have to. Yeah, I mean, I'll be my one takes backseat. I'm sure there'll be none others okay. the whole time. Okay. Um, yeah, Make I'll do. It dork. I'm doing it to the staff. Yeah, but I get to draw two and discard a card. I'm gonna discard a mana confluent. Ugh. How many mana do you have on tap, Carlos? Okay, I'm gonna miscast. Counter unless you pay three. I didn't just draw. Um, I you am. Should draw seven cards or whatever. You yeah, want. I'll draw two. I will force the miscast. Gosh. I'll pitch Thassa's Oracle. I'll trigger so, Tamashi. My hand. Yeah. So I'll draw a card. Can I go to my draw step? Sure. I'm tapped out. Fantastic. Marsh Flats is land for turn. I'll pass. End of your turn. Going to take two off of Ancient Tomb and float a colorless for a Shimmermer. So all of my artifacts have flash, and then with my floating mana, I will cast Ethereum Sculptor, and all my artifacts cost one less. Because we're in my end step, if something triggers on next end step, it, it will trigger on John's end Net, step, Yeah, right? it'll be yeah. my end uh -huh. step. So I'm going to crack my Marsh Flats and get an Etundra, paying the one, and cast Ooh. Dress Down. Enters the uh, battlefield, so I get it to draw a card. Creatures okay. lose all abilities. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice Dress Down. I'm going to draw, though. So you get yeah. to draw. I'm paying for so a I'll stick, but, but not I get to draw stick. off of fish. My turn, I will untap. I'll pay one for fish, round one. Odds, Come on, I take Crypt. damage. Come on. Odd, take damage. Yes. Draw for turn. We are going to get a cavern on jellyfish. I'm, I'm going to pass my turn. And discard, ponder, merchant scroll, misty rainforest. Dress down goes to the yard. Everything is... Uh, has its abilities. All right, draw for turn. Feeding into a carpet of flowers, but oh well. Snow covered island. Or stick study. Draw two. Yeah. To it, John. Sure. Pass turn. Untap and look at the top three. Yeah, I'm just going to go to attack phase and I am going to swing at John three. Yeah. I'm just going to pass turn. Untap. Odds. I take damage. Dang it. Justice! Any, like, other crazy storm counts before I draw? No, you you may proceed to your draw, draw step. Oh, you know what? I just realized I didn't take a damage off of my fetch. White. White. Blue. And two. Cast Supreme Verdict, paying the one. There's two ones and a four. Carlos, how many cards are in your hand? Five cards. Okay, I'll pay John's I, one. I have responses. No, it can't be counter. Go away. I, I have many responses. Uh, I'm going to flash in and cast Mox Amber 
Beard. It doesn't oh, I guess do anything. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm gonna Charles pay a pay a oh, yeah, blue. Mystic? Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel? Feels <laughs> terrible. Cause I'm gonna give you a lot of cards. Yeah, draw a card. And cast a mystical tutor. I will get a whir of invention, and then draw that off of my remora trigger. Now you're gonna cast. Oh wait. Um. Before that, though, I draw a card from. Yeah, you've drawn mystical. Well, no, from Jason's. That's... Yours goes on the stack first, and then mine. So I draw yeah, before right. you get yours. Okay, so Whir goes on top. I will draw Whir. So still Supreme Verdict chilling. No more draw triggers, though, right? No more floating draw triggers. We'll clear the stack back down to the Wrath. Let's pay two life. And four colorless. One yeah, so I've got four colorless floating. I will pay Grim Monolith and pay the one. And uh, Basalt Monolith, not pay one. Uh, Wrath resolves. Destroy all creatures. I'll play Odawara, the Soaring City, as land for turn. Pass the turn after that. Untap. Upkeep. Not paying for fish. Rolling for crypt. Taking damage. And draw for turn. I have to do things at sorcery speed now, which is really uncomfortable. And you need so to play, play a creature to reconfigure, too. Let's tap a crypt for a spell skite. Rhystic? Sure. I will tap my ancient tomb and pay for Rhystic. And take one damage. Or two damage, sorry. And a floating plus uncounterable off of cavern for a jellyfish. A reality chip. Rhystic? Take it. Go ahead and tap basalt and an island float a colorless to reconfigure onto spell sky i'm going to crack flooded strand for an island going to 20 yeah we're tapping basalt monolith oh he's for going three, for it for four mana plus a blue and we're going to cast a trinket mage study and i'm going to pay for study i still have another color that's floating i'm going to get sensei's top gonna Bring pay another one for ristic and cast Sensei's top. Um, Counter ooh. that top, Carlos. Going nice. for a force, and I cannot pay for it. All right, draw. Ah, yep. Nice. Yeah, that was big. I was waiting. I had one, top, one, top on, one countered. thing. That's what I got. Go ahead, Carlos. Uh, yes. Uh, draw for turn. Uh, Snow covered plains. I'll play a Talisman of Progress. I can't pay for a stick. Cool. I'm at seven. I'll pass the turn. You've always been a left tapper. Well, he's always been a left tapper, yeah. What the heck, dude? Ew! <laughs> I think it was like my brain like tried to shield me from it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to keep all keep all three, so I'll take eight. Uh, 32 minus eight, 26. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to, like a rock earlier that's not Jeweled Lotus. Yeah, I'm kind of suffering from... A little bit of the same thing. What do you mean? Are you, are you guys behind on mana? Dude, I totally know what you're talking about. <laughs> totally, I'm totally not getting, you know, beat, beat out by a non-green color in terms of ramp. I'll tap for two, play Survival of the Fittest, and let's see. I can't pay for either one of you, so... Great. Ben, you should be at 24 HP. 32 oh, minus 8. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 24. <laughs> I will pass the turn. Before the end of your turn, I'm going to activate the Genesis Engine. Draw two, I'll discard and make a pilot token. Uh, you discarded a brainstorm. Draw, play a city of brass as my land for turn. Evens, I do not take damage. <laughs> yeah, tapping this guy. I'm gonna cast Proteus Staff. We'd be good, everyone happy? No. Um, Rhystic study? Come on, come on. Rhystic study? I hate all of you. Draw. <laughs> Oh, uh, come on, John. You have priority. I don't have it. This is bad. Here's my gamble. I'm going to let I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it happen. <laughs> okay. Hold, hold so, bluff. Uh, I have priority, so I'm going to tap these guys, take damage off of City of Brass, and activate the Proteus Staff. Uh-huh. my token in the bottom of my library. Wait. Hold on. No. No, you're not. I'm revealing a card. No. Target. Wait, 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 no. wait. You're targeting it. You're targeting it, Jason. It. I'm yeah. paying two life. You're now targeting Spellskite with Perfect. Proteus Staff. Perfect. So I Proteus Staff this year, Spellskite? At bottom of your library. Bottom of my library. Wonderful. Even yeah. better. Uh, the, uh, so you reveal until you get a creature card. 
And then right. you you get to put the, the cards revealed on the bottom in any order. Wonderful. That, is that a creature? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does the job. Uh, Ornithopter, no way. Um, I will pass the turn. Untap things that untap. Don't untap things that don't untap. Take some damage. Roll for crypt. Um, Two, and I don't take damage. Still, yeah. still in upkeep. Is this a Carlos special silence and upkeep? Yeah, random yeah. silence upkeep. What? Um, Hang the one. Hang the, the one. All right, great. I'll miscast it. Uh, <laughs> a rustic study trigger. Sure. Wait, how did you get miscast again? I didn't miscast the first time. That was Jason. Are, are you talking about this? Ah, oh, dang it. Draw for turn. Well, we're just going to play a land for turn. Four. I will pay the one on a fabricate and Study? search my library for an artifact. Yeah, pay the one. Isochron Scepter. I'm going to tap my ancient tomb here. Go to 16. I'm going to play a Phyrexian Revoker. Naming Proteus Staff. <laughs> then I'm going to go to combat and I'm going to attack Ben for two. <laughs> this is the weirdest Whoa. game. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, now I'll pass the turn. Okay, draw for turn. All right, treasure vault. I think I'm going for a really expensive explore. I'm warp, he says. Uh, are you paying one? Sure. Draw for second turn. I'm going to play the Otarawara. I really didn't want to, but... Um, okay, Codex Shredder. I'm going to be a good citizen. Pay the one. I'm at seven cards. I'll pass the turn. End of turn, I'm going to uh, survival the fittest. I'm actually going to get rid of this guy. I was kind of looking forward to playing, but forgotten ancient. Oh, come ancient. on. What? Collectors. Yeah. Oof, boy, there it is. My boy uh, going in my hand. I'm going to cast a worldly tutor and not pay for it. Oh. Destiny spinner. All right. I'm going to go to draw. Are you doing any lame stuff with your shredder? Um, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, that only hurts me, unfortunately. Plus, I Oof is no coming out. Like, I'll mill that card. All right, so it's the top one card. Yeah, top one card. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to untap and I'm going to draw. All three, I'm not going to even look. I'm keeping them all. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to attempt to cast Eternal Witness. I'm good with that. Yeah, um, Rhystic Studies. Not paying. You guys Ma are making me go the, the long way with this, but I'll do it. Life is a storm, my young friend. One moment you are dashed upon the rocks. I have been dashed upon the rocks. Uh, At the real... next moment, Ben's casting out Sword Shepherd. Yeah, you're gonna you gonna counter that. Oh, that's right. Well, Rhystic, at least. Wait, Come on. Do I draw? Do Come I draw on. for both of them? I will not pay for that one either. I'm pastor. Before the end of your turn, I'm gonna activate the Genesis Ascension. Turtle Tron, nine thousand. Draw nine thousand. Draw two cards. Discard a Chrome Mock. And Mock. my turn. Evens, Why? I do not take damage. Dang it. Draw for turn. Ancient Tomb is land for turn. And then oh. I'll cast Polymorph. Pilot token. Trigger. Sure, draw a card, each of you. I'll force of negation. Pitching, preordain. Mystic. I'm sure I'll pay one. Carlos. Response. I can't help you have a Polymorph. Like, what are you thinking? Come on. Is it, is it exiled? I feel bad for you, though, because this I'll is... I'll pact it. Oh, whoa. Ristic? I'll pay for neither. Uh, I will let Pact resolve. Carlos? What What are you... I'm not going to help you. I, I, I'm just saying... Are, are, are you countering Pact? Oh. So that resolves. Horus is countered. And then I will Polymorph. counter counter spell on Poly Polymorph. Not pay one. Cast Flusterstorm. Targeting. The counter spell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you paying one? I'm going to pay... Carlos is one. And it. you'll let me you'll let me draw. This is the card. You can look at it. Oh, I'm aware. You I already, you should already know it. You should already know it. So Fluster Storm resolves, counter spell is countered. This pact here what? is now going to counter your polymorph. Because you let me draw. No, it's fine. Okay. Alright, now now we both have pack triggers. And I'm gonna cast uh Ristic Study, because I hate oh. you guys. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> oh, oh rhystic trigger uh, sure. yeah trigger why not i have no simian spirit guides to exile my turn yeah, yeah. go ahead untap upkeep 
Pay for Pact. Roll for crypt. Odds or damage? No damage. Draw for turn. Scalding turn for turn. All right, Chrome Mox. And I'm going to imprint a Whir of Invention. Studies? Not paying. I'm going to crack Scalding Tarn for a Mystic Sanctuary, which comes into play untapped and gets me a thing. I am going to put Forcible. Let's go ahead and tap out. Paying two for the studies? Yeah, paying for both of my Rhystic Studies, taking two damage for uh, Tezzeret. Vasika. Did you pick one for your Scalding Tarn too? Oh, I did not. You did not. Um, let's go for a uh, delay. I'll pay the one. Are you paying the one? Not for you. Yeah. It's delayed with three time counters. Is that correct? That is right. No, I'll I just untap. Shredder existed. Come on. Uh, draw for turn. All right. I'm going to cast Seal of Cleansing. Pay uh, one. I'll pay for yours. Yeah. I won't pay for yours, Jason. I'm going to play Shredder? Training Grounds. Oh my gosh. Freaking Codex Shredder. No. No! Uh, didn't pay any mana. That was just to accidentally drop that card onto the ground. Yeah, all right. I've, I've said it like four times, I thought. <laughs> you did, you muted. did. But I didn't I, I didn't know why you were saying it. You were, uh, yeah, I'll choose John Millicard. Yay! Yeah, I'll play Training Grounds, and I won't pay for it. I'll play Urza's Bobble, and I won't pay for it. I'm going to play Mystic Sanctuary. Let's do a force of will. My own what the top heck? four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll play Moon's Silver Key. I won't pay for it. I will be passing my turn at this point, discarding. End of your turn, I'm going to survival. I'm going to get rid of Circle of Dreams Druid. I'm going to get a Shia Soul of the Wild. I discarded Snow Covered Island and a Sculpting Steel. I think at this point I can ramp it up, start playing for reals, giving these guys a chance. Oh no, winning. there's a fourth player. Yeah. yeah. Here <laughs> Hold we go. on, Ben. <laughs> ben, you gotta take eight first. Oh, I'm taking eight, dude. Whoa! That's for sure. Oh. For sure. I'm not even looking, dude. I'm not even looking. I'm gonna cast a Shia. Are you paying the one? Nope. Are you paying okay. the one? Nope. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap my two homies here. And I'm gonna go ahead and cast another homie. The oof. Uh, um, are you paying the one on oof? I, I, get, I can't sneakily get my card without you guys ben, getting yours. Ben drop. Part. Do we all draw? Yeah, all right. I'll, allow, I'll allow it. He doesn't have any more mana. That is my whole turn. So, untap. We got a couple triggers. I'm paying for pact, first of all. Not artifacts. With your two life? Yeah. Uh, evens do not damage me. Hey. Then draw for turn. Oh, I got eight cards. I got this card. I'm gonna discard Minglehorn. I'm gonna play a Scalding Tarn as my land for turn. Discard Exotic Orchard, Muddle the Mixture, a Dark Heart Waste, Jeweled Lotus, Swan Song. I kept one too. Few. Is, is your commander out? Yeah, he he's a nothing, nothing. But yeah, I am passing the turn. Untap, upkeep, roll for Crypt, because that still happens. One, so I take damage. I'll tick down my Tesseret to two. Draw for turn. This is my plan, and it's a risky one, but I'm going to try it. Ben. Yo. I'm attacking you. Seriously? What? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> with an Ornithopter? Uh, with a Phyrexian Revoker. I'm not going to draw cards if you swing at me. You have a 4-4. Four, four. Just block it. You, I'm not you, think he, you think he has giant growth or something? Do you got yeah, it? What do you think is happening? Just block it. He want like don't. Why would he swing die? it? Because he, he wants it to die. He wants it to die. So he can yeah. get it back and do something else. I know. That's why I'm not blocking. All right. All right. That's what I'm saying. Or is my on you, ninjutsu? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Flight steel. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Take two. I'm gonna go with a snap. Snapping collector oof. Uh, Aristic study. John, Take you it. Fan? Hmm. Maybe I have a response to that spell. Yeah, I will cast a force of will. Paying one. Um, I'm going to exile, copy artifacts, and lose a life. I will not pay either. All right, drop. I'll uh, fluster storm your force, mm. and I will pay pay both ones. Wow. Jason. Yeah, I got nothing for Flusterstorm or Force of Will. You have something for Snap? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give you a bird. Uh, give him the bird. Uh, uh Rustic Study. This is um, so dumb. <laughs> pay for John. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking a damage off a city of brass. I've got a 2 2 bird. I'm going to go for an inventor's fair. Tap it for a uh, soul ring. In response, I'm going to crack my scalding tarn. I'm going to cast something with triggers the... on the stack. Draw all the cards. I'm getting a hollow fountain. I'm paying two life. I'm casting uh, light tutor. Uh, Rhystic trigger. I will pay for neither. Yep. So, so we have your tutor on the stack. We just drew from it. Then there's another draw. draw. Jason has one. And I have one. Correct. And then yeah. Sol Ring resolves. Okay. So. We all this now to dodge Codex Shredder. Well, you're not going to dodge Codex Shredder if I tap this here Ancient Tomb. What? I'm going to. Maybe I'm going to pay your one. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so fine. get get what you're going to get. Yeah, the line was snapped. Yeah, of course. Actually. That gives you actually, all that, those rocks. Ben snapped the line originally. So I had to derp around with other nonsense. Me and John, we've been fighting a Shadow War that no one else yeah. is aware of. I'm, I'm gonna get no one else has even hold. seen it. All right, fine. Put that on top. Then we get draws. Yeah, you get draws. Okay, so Soul Ring resolves. Yeah. Jeweled Lotus. Also, draw your cards. I don't even know what to do with all these cards. I'm going to pass the turn and discard three matching islands, which I think lets me turn in for armies. Okay, end of turn. I'm going to uh, shoot your Rhystic Study, John. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to Winds of Rebuke yours, Jason. Wow. Um, I, I cannot pay. One? I cannot pay. Um, and then we each mill two. Oh, yeah. yeah. Arcane Stignet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone, mil yeah everyone. Most, everyone mills two. Dude. Lotus Petal, Lotus Bloom. Uh, Chromox, Ariac Salvagers. Gemstone, Aww. Caverns, and a Forest. I needed that forest. All right, let's draw for turn. So I will play my commander for five. I do this, and then... You should just play creatures and attack Ben. <laughs> Don't do it. He is at four. <laughs> ben dies on upkeep. Don't you know that? I did just yeah, play I have... a creature. Yeah. Keep extra cards. It's the law. What is uh what does your um <laughs> creature do again? Make some all lands. Ashaya, power and toughness equal to the number of lands I control, so it's six six, and then non token creatures I control, including itself, are forests, forest lands in addition to their other types. So it's a lot bigger than a six six, right? Yeah, actually. So it's a one, two, nine. That's that's true. I never I never made that connection. So right. I'm in I'm in danger. I'm going to yeah. Yo, you leave me alive. I'll go after. I'll go after John. I'll pay a blue and play Emery Lurker of the Lock. Um, for they are Echoing Truth, Soul Ring, Snow Covered Plains, and Temporal Manipulation. All right, I'm going to pay a white. Bounce my Mystic Sanctuary to my hand. Oh, I can get something for two or less. I'm done. Yeah, so I can get Soul Ring yeah. for free, ish. You get, you get Soul Ring for the cost of putting your best spell on top of your library? <laughs> Pretty wow. cool. Mystic Sanctuary's land for turn. Go ahead, Carl. Oh, I'm so dumb. Soul Ring is off. Yes. Oh, suck. <laughs> um, I have two mana then. Oh, jeez. This guy's worthless, but he's a blocker, I guess, at this point. Core Tapper. And then I'll discard. Well, here, I'm not going to play this, and I'm just going to discard it. It's worthless. All right, I'll pass. Wait, where's Force of Will these days? In my graveyard. Oh, he, he put Time Warp on top. What? That's my win con. His, his win con is repeatedly cycling through. But once I do it, like, I I get infinite turns. Well, I can just mill everybody. I can mill myself and everybody out, and that's his yeah. Oracle. Like, yeah. I forgot that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I do draw a card because my land uh, came to my hand. Okay, folks, here it is. That's my final choice drawing for turn. I'm going to tap nine. Uncounterable green spell coming at you. Creator Tooth and nail. Is. Tooth and nail. Wait, really? Oh, man. Yeah. I'm search my library for two creature cards, reveal them, and put it in my hand. Or I could put two creature cards from my hand into play. Phyrexian, Hydra, and Loyal Guardian. 
first, I'm actually going to put Kogla. Your uh, tooth and nail? Yeah, no. Yep. So one, yeah. You good on that one, Carlos? Sure. Yeah, I can't count on anything. Oh, you, get a, you get a cheat in something else, though. Woodland Bellum. When it enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a non-legendary green creature, three or less, put it onto the battlefield. Right, I'm going to fight your commander. You're fighting my commander? Yeah. Yeah, because the other two commanders are locked down. So. Sorry, so Woodland Bellower, I'm going to put down... Get put down a, of the final right, Ristic study. I'm going to go for Ristic. And with that, all my stuff has my sickness still, so I will pass turn. Um, Untap? Uh, mana Crypt Trigger evens. I do not take damage. That is an odd number. Draw for turn. Uh, silence. Yeah, Force of Negation. This is Exiled, right? Yours is exiled, yeah. yeah. It's an exile card as well. Intuition. Tap for a white. Tap for a white. Tap for a colorless. I'm going to cast out of time. Because we are. Everything okay. phases out till the number of creatures worth of turns have passed. So they're just gone <laughs> forever. Or until it's Wait. gone, right? <laughs> yeah, it's Wait. until out of time leaves. What happens to my commander? Gone. <laughs> He's phased out. Yeah, because that's not leaving zones, right? I can't move him. No, it's nope. right. No. Yeah, I've been I, I've been waiting to do this when the chip was not dipped. That's why I kept no. Asking. Every time I asked, I was like, I can still phase it out, right? Gosh. And Carlos doesn't even have his commander. So yes, Car Carlos, I, I did you a solid, dude. You did exactly. actually. So, <laughs> how many creatures total? Four included. Seven. Oh, hold on, two, four. How many did you have, Carlos? One. A six plus eight is fourteen. Fourteen turns. They're gonna come back. Soaring's online. What? It's got two more mana. What have you done? I now I'm have gonna, infinite mana. I'm gonna play Mox Opal. Tap Ancient Tomb. Loading a mana. Taking J two. I'm gonna make a pilot. Draw two cards. Please be counter spells. Oh. I'll discard a Mox Diamond. Blue one. Proteus. Staff my token. Okay, so just double checking. If you don't have a target, it fizzles. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah. a part of the resolution. That's your one target. Bouncing That's the true. token. Yeah, capsize. With buyback? Without buyback. Without buyback. Yes! One colorless floating. Yeah, I got nothing. Sweet, so it goes to my hand. Take a point of damage off a of city of brass for a blue mana and cast Rissic Study. I have to discard a hand size, so... Humility and Inventor's Fair. End of your turn, I'll untap Grim Monolith. I think John probably has it now, unfortunately. Yeah. I am not close to having it. No? Excellent. All right. Yeah, I guess if Drop you don't have your commander, that's sort of rough. I don't you have know. infinite mana, basically, though. Oh, uh, roll for crypt, sorry. And tick down my Tezzeret. Odds are damage. More nice. damage. I will pay four tap and sack Inventor's Fair. To awesome. go search for a artifact. I'm gonna get Helm of Awakening. Nice. What? I'm down with that. <laughs> sure, I'm gonna tap Ancient Tomb. And I'll cast Helm. Would you like to pay one? No. Tap Grim for three and cast Joyer's Familiar. Would you like to pay one? No. Historic spells cost one less. I will pay one and two more life for a Phyrexian Metamorph copying oh, Helm. No. Cast Spell Skype for free. Would you like to pay one? No. I'm going to pay one for a Lab Man. Would you like to pay one? No. I'll pay one for Windfall. Would you like to pay one? Oh, no. Interesting. Windfall. Jason, how many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we wow. each draw twelve cards? I have. I just, just, yeah, just. Reversal. Yeah, just call out like relevant ones. Tezzy. Fierce Guardianship, Isochron Scepter. I had Karn, the great I, creator. I, I mean, I presented like 17 win cons, but... Yeah, uh, Time Warp, Dramatic Reversal. And nice. I do have Patron of the Moon. My plan at this point was just like, play a 5-4 flyer and kill Ben and kill John and... Oh, you know. I also had... I'm supposed to have Blind Obedience somewhere, and I don't know where it went. So it's 13? Yeah, 13. Oh, there it is. Found it. You got it, John? No, I don't Still? think so. I don't know. Meekstone? For freezies. Would you like to pay one? No. Meek stone. Hold on, let me look at my hand. It's a Urza's Saga target. Well, okay. I love it, but... Draw. I'm going to pay three, including a one for Jason. For Narset, Parter of Veils. Flashback, Windfall. Wait, wait. 
I'll counter it. Fears. Ooh. It costs negative two mana, so that means I add two mana, right? Uh, exactly. No. Yep. yep. That's fine. Let's go one for solve the equation. You like to pay? No. Getting paradoxical outcome. Pay one for tribute mage, I guess. Paying one? Uh, no. Artifact two. And I think my only option at this point is Arcane Signet, which I will cast and not pay. So I gotta go discard now. Three more islands pass the turn. Uh, draw for turn. Oh, yeah, it does, huh? Yeah, I guess we just play my commander. Uh, I'm gonna force a will it. Exiling. We'll go with copy artifacts. Then I'll lose a life. We'll attempt a fierce guardianship for one blue. Hey yo, that's fine. I'll allow it. Cool. Commander's back. It's not gonna really oh, matter. Sorry, at this point. sorry, 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 sorry. Are you gonna pay the one on fierce or your commander? Um, no. All right, I'm gonna put a blue in my pool. Tap a white. Bounce this mystic sanctuary. <sighs> To my hand, I'm gonna get a Chrome Mox, exiling a portable hole. Right, it'll still make white with that. No, non-artifact, non-land card. Non-artifact. There were no colored artifacts when that card was printed. Right. I guess instead we'll just do the Mox Amber. So I have one blue floating. I'm going to play my Mystic Sanctuary. Get Time Warp back on top. Play a Mystic Remora? Would you like to play one? No. Any responses to Mystic Remora? Uh, yes, actually. I'm, uh, I'm going to one. <laughs> sure, yeah. Because I don't think this is going to get a chance to matter. Are you going to play one, John? No. Play a Geist Wave for one blue? Would you like to play one? No. What are you going to target? Uh, my Soul Ring. Then this will return, and I'll draw a card because I owned the uh, uh, spell. Yeah. Permanent. I'll play the soul ring. Would you like to pay one? I cannot afford soul to. Soul ring doesn't cost mana. Oh yeah. Oh wait, no, yep. it doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. It makes the things. Um, I'm gonna mental misstep it though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my last <laughs> go, so we'll go for a time warp. Paying the one. I cannot. Yeah. Okay, let's discard like a trillion crappy lands. I think I mill myself one as well. Um, okay. Yeah. Draw for turn. Ben's full on like, you guys need to work harder for your card advantage. That's right. Pick yourselves up by your bootstraps and draw cards with life. Not taxing others for it. You know what the funnest thing is? John could have been tapping his ancient tomb as a forest this whole time. Oh no! Oh uh, no! What? So, oh, much better. so what? sad. Better. I could have but... untapped Basalt Monolith last turn, which would yeah. have gave me more. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you waited this long to tell him is just. I, that's I, the, I, ultimate I, like, the ultimate brother troll. The ultimate brother troll. Okay. Well, I think I barely have enough money. <laughs> Money and barely enough mana what? to go for it. Um, oh, don't. Uh, during your upkeep, I need a rapid hybridization, your commander. Well, I did give you information, right? That I'm going to go for it, but. I mean, could have been right. bluffing. And I can't oh. pay oh, for right. anything. I will play Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Pay one for Jace. Sure go to five i will mill myself two and draw a card mana drain that's his oracle yes draw a card i'll play mana crypt without paying the one okay, i'll play the lion's eye i'll pay the one i'm gonna play portable hole on your mock sopal i'll pay the one i'll play flooded strand now i guess we'll moon silver key whole flooded strand at the same time just to save time Play a Mox Opal. I'll pay the one. Like pay one. Did you say pass cross? Mm mm. But I now will. Untap. I gotta look at the top three. I'm gonna pick one of them. All right. Drawing for turn. I'm gonna tap for an Elvish Mystic. I'm not paying for any of this. <laughs> okay, sweet. I'll draw. I'm gonna tap for a 
experiment one. So watch out. I'll tap two for a toss key. Play a guy's cradle. I'm gonna tap one carpet of flowers. So I will access those five. I'll use one for root maze. I'll use one for keen sense. It says whenever enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent, draw a card. I'm gonna go ahead and use the last three to cast Trinisphere. Oh, oh, no, oh sorry, man. that actually that actually costs one only. So with that, I will end my turn. Yeah. Tap. All right, Jason. Um, could have could have been third turn instead. Even turn. Don't hurt me. That is an odd number. Draw for turn. This goes down to thirteen. Seven, and we'll have one floating. Take two. And I'm gonna cast the uncounterable Holbreak Horror. Now I'm gonna. I, I might have to do this specially. Um, cast March of Otherworldly Light. Exile target artifact, creature, or enchantment with mana value X or less. Um, oh I'll my gosh. Trinisphere. I'm paying a Sleep. white mana. In response. One. Well, let me pay the know. cost first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. And then I'm paying <clears throat> the two that it costs less. So a total of four. X equals three. Mana value is four. It so. attempts to reduce back down to two. Trinisphere says, no, you got to pay three. I'm paying my three. March is targeting Trinisphere. And then the cast trigger goes on the stack. I'm going to target Mana Crypt. All right, I'm going to just cast Veil of Summer. Tap in for three. What does that do? It doesn't um, do anything. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Stuff gains hexproof. You can't target my stuff. Hexproof from blue and black. Not white. Yeah, I get to draw a card. Are Wait. you going to pay, pay well, one? Well, it helps so that you No, no, no. And did You're you right. pay I, three mana for Veil of Summer? I did. I did. I paid three mana. You're right. It's yeah. it's only... It's not white. I, my, uh, I will respond brain. to the Veil. My sleepy brain made a big mistake. With no, no, no a... he's not. He's not casting Veil of Summer. No, you're good. It, it is still valuable because it... No, I, 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 did, I, did, I did cast it. I did cast yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, I'm going to draw a card off of it. Well, I'll respond before any of that. I'm That's going to Swords to Plowshares, the whole Breaker Horror, paying the one. The, wor the worst thing one. about all of this is Trinisphere is going away, and you guys will win now. Um, no, John will win. I, I know, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Not, not me. Well, you have all your free counter spells. Just stop John. I'm going to activate Genesis Engine, and I'll discard a Wind Swept Heath, and it's power or toughness? Power. Okay, I'll gain seven. So March will exile Trinisphere. Mana Crypt goes back to my hand, and I will draw a card off of my Rhystic Study trigger because you cast your green spell. Okay, and then post combat, Mana Crypt, Grim Monolith will take Key Curse Totem, Lotus Petal, Torp Orb, Soul Ring, Skull Clamp. They're all free. Yeah. Torp Orb is ETB, Curse Totem's activated abilities. Suck. Right. I'm out. <laughs> Grim Monolith and Voltaic Key can make a substantial amount of mana, but I'm short on blue mana. May Root Maze is still a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Lotus it's important to remember. No! Ugh. These Dude. are these are new artifacts. Look though. at those stacks pieces of bands just doing some work. We had too much blue in this game. Yeah. What do you What do you mean? It's, no, it's not, no, no, you draw. No, I mean, you stop. No, you can't do it. Draw. No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> it's not just blue. It's mono blue I'm, and I'm blue white. I'm gonna play sea, sea of Clouds. It's gonna enter the battlefield untapped or tapped because you guys are not my opponent in my heart. <laughs> um, All right. And then I'm passing. So here's the problem. We start yeah, off with a mana crypt roll. Yes. Oh. <laughs> No, okay. You have to roll on board. You have to call it. You have to say. You have to be yeah, real clear about it this. Before you roll it. Yep. As per so, Jeff. Odds I lose the game. Oh, please. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, welcome to the club, man. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Or more. Yeah, I do, I, I've done that like four times. <laughs> yeah, I'm draw. Okay, so non-basics or all lands come in tapped? All artifacts and lands. All artifacts and lands, okay. Everybody's, even Ben's. All right, here, oh, I need to Thank roll you. for my- Thank you oh, guys yeah. for reminding me of My that. crypt here. Let's just do odds are safe. Oh, I take my three. Ooh, nah, 
I think I just... Well, I can't even use my commander, right? Wait, is that... Yep. Uh, uh, no, everything is stacked out. Well... No ETBs, no activated abilities of creatures. Um, yeah, here we go. I'm going to Mystical Tutor. Might be able to take... No. Like I'm going to put Repeal on top. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to mill Jason for two and then draw a card. So we're going to mill a Prismatic Vista and a talisman of progress draw repeal um we'll attempt to repeal uh the curse totem for three okay would you like to pay one um no so i'm going to exile a fabricate to uh, force a negation all right uh it's countered can't pay i'll attempt to cast my commander okay i'll draw play a blast zone the charge counter on it. I think, unfortunately, that is all. All right, but look at the top three. Whatever. Just keep the one. I have to attack with Toski. Yeah, before I do that, I'm going to cast my commander for five. All right, now I'm going to go to combat. So uh, this will trick my experiment. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swing it, Jason. Yeah, I'm going to jump with my pilot. So I have five from Carpet of Flowers. I'm going to use... One of those actually to use survival of the fittest. Gosh, I should've been doing this a long time ago. So I'll have four green floating. <laughs> what did you get? Endurance. Use some of the other mana. I have four floating mana and I'm gonna I'll use three of it to cast endurance. When it enters the battlefield, up to one target player puts all cards from their graveyard on the bottom of the library in any order. Did you so, did you pay one? Um I have it, so I'll pay it. I'm gonna end my turn. I don't have to discard, and I'm just picking the order to put these on at the bottom. Is it you? You get to pick the order. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, Torb Orb. Ooh. Okay, so nothing happens. Nothing happens. Well, you can not I am cast gonna it. Tap my uh, city. Of, oh, what? Go ahead. Yeah, I will just put it in my hand. Yeah. So there's four card mana floating. I'm gonna play a land for turn. Comes in tapped. You have my Apollo. I think I just have to lose that mana i'm gonna tap my city of brass for a white mana and i'm gonna cast swords to plowshares on carlos's commander boo but you do gain life equal to its power untap draw chain of vapor on root maze i will lose my root maze just go see your hand and then you may decide to sacrifice the land and copy Chain of Vapor. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice a forest, and I will get rid of the two commander. I'm going to yeah. tap Grim Monolith, add three colorless, use one of that. So is Chain of Vapor done? Chain of Vapor is copied and targeting my commander. It's a copy, not cast, so I don't get a trigger there. Tap this for three, use one of it, two floating, to activate, to draw two. And discard one. Yeah, goes to my hand. I will decide not to copy Chain of Vapor. Uh, using one of the two floating. One blue mana. Blue mana. Cast Narset. Oh, our things ticked down to 12, by the way. What happened? Oh, I forgot my trigger for Crypt. Evens, I do not take damage. Excellent. My leftover one. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Tap a blue. Crack my Lotus Petal for a blue. Use my leftover colorless, and oh, I'm going to cast Time Twister. I got a response. I'm going to tap six, because I'm going to use Convoke. So I get a, something with mana cost three or less, which is a quarter Board. calling. Uh, I have a response yeah. to that. Tap a blue and just cast a spell. Okay. I mean, I, I, it doesn't matter if I draw or not, so I won't draw. Resolves? Yep. I have pol Polluted Delta and Sea of Clouds. My commander goes to the command zone. You draw one card. Time twister. You do code. shuffle your Ben. You shuffle your library uh, and with your, your graveyard. graveyard. Your hand, library. library, and graveyard all together. Yep. Yeah. I get to draw seven. Uh, draw my one card. No uh, devastation. Come on. Uh, tap two. Soul ring. Floating one. I'm gonna untap my monolith. I have one mana floating, and I'm gonna use that to cast manifold key. I'll play a Polluted Delta, go ahead and crack that, going to 14, getting an island, 
How much mana do I need to make to cast my commander again? Uh, blue, white, and six. So one, two, three, pay one to untap it and tap it again. So I go five. Th uh, so yeah, it's three, goes down to two. Three gets with five. Short one. Yeah, I'll tap mana crypt. I'll activate my commander. Draw two. Discard a marsh flats. Make a dork. All minus Narset. One, two, three, four. All lands. My turn. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm in the turn. I'm gonna mill myself one. Iganjo. Man, a crypt trigger. Evens are good. Evens are good. Draw my one card for turn. We will attack Narset for three. With who? My three, three, eight. Oh, your lizard, your lizard token dice. I will block with the Almighty Pilot token. I will transmute Teleria West for z uh, zero. Actually, maybe I do get a land. Can I get a land? I can get an Ancient Tomb. I'm just joining you guys in this uh, hurt yourself battle just like seven years in. I'm going to get Lotus Bloom. Okay, I'll play an island. It's land for turn. I will crack Lion's Eye Diamond. You'll discard your whole hand. Discard my Lotus Bloom. I'll get three blue so three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven attempt a tamashi would you like to pay the one yeah yeah i'm gonna mill myself twice and not draw a card pass the turn okay so narset says i can draw one card curse yeah, totem yeah. says i can't card. what no activated abilities and torp orb no enter the battlefield effects let's do this i will use the mana from carpet of flowers yeah, I'm going to cast Natural Order. Paying the one? Yeah. Pay, pay the I, one. I know there's at least sacrificing? Uh, Elvish Mystic. I'm going to get Averbrook Caretaker. Uh, Hexproof. You need a combat on my turn. Put two plus one plus one counters on another target creature I control. Yeah, right now it has Daybound. It comes in. I am going to go to combat. So I'm going to put two plus one plus one counters on target creature I control. So I'm going to send a 3-3 three, three at Narset. And then I'm going to send a 1-1 a one, one and a 5-5. I have a 2-3. You should send Tusky over his face. Oh, yeah. That's what he's doing. Oh, Oops. okay. Sorry. Yeah. Tusky and your commander are coming at my face. Experiment one is coming at Narset. That is correct. Before damage, I'm going to tap my City of Brass for a white mana, losing a life. I'm going to tap my Ancient Tomb for a green as a forest and not take damage and cast March of Otherworldly Light and exile Experiment one. Okay, so it is in heaven. The other two totally hit me, and you get your triggers. All right, so I get a basic land intapped. Um, you get two basics, don't you? Oh, two, oh, they both, that's right, they both did damage to you, so yes. I'm going to cast Force of Vigor, and since I don't have a card to exile, I have to actually hard cast it. So I'm going to get rid of Proteus Staff, as much as I hate to admit it. i got to get rid of the Torpor Orb as well. Um, I will pay for it. Yeah, I'm going to tap that differently. So, so I cast for four. I'll ca tap this for one, two, three, four, five. I'm done. Okay, untap. Grim Monolith stays tapped. We have a Crypt Trigger. That's literally what's going to kill me at this point. Evens, I do not take damage. Oh, draw for turn. Uh, excuse me. I am uh, Urza's Bobbling at the end of Ben's turn. Show me a random card from your hand, Jason, that was not drawn this turn, and then I draw a card on your turn. I will draw on your turn. Soul <laughs> Ring, and use one of that to tap Manifold, create it to untap Grim Monolith, tap Grim Monolith. Oh, sorry, this went down to 11. Grim Monolith will add three colorless. Uh, use the other floating from Soul Ring to use activate Voltaic Key on crap Grim Monolith. I'm going to tap that again and add another three colorless. And so that's a total of six. Of the six, we're gonna go blue, blue, tap these, use four of that. So I have two colorless left. And I'm gonna cast, hold on, not yet. I have to stack this right, I'm sorry. There's all that mana. How is this CDH game becoming the longest game we've ever played? Activate my commander, draw ever. cards. Ever, ever. Six Oops. colorless floating. Discard a card. Yeah, six colorless floating. And now I will do all that. You have two a pilot. Colorless. Two. Thank you. Two colorless floating, and I'm gonna cast Sea Gate Restoration. Never actually cast the spell before. 
I get to draw cards equal to the number of cards in my hand, plus one. And I have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Six cards in hand now. Draw seven. Uh, I'm going to mox diamonds, discarding a flooded strand. Use the other two colorless, cast an arcane signet. Tap both of those for blue. Have one colorless floating from crypt. Transmute muddle the mixture. Ice to crown scepter. Mystic sanctuary is my land for turn. Muddle the mixture of my library. Narset. And then Narset, thank you. I'm going to reveal muddle the mixture. And I'm going to tap two. Colorless. Transmute muddle the mixture. Tap ancient tomb, taking two damage. Imprinting dramatic reversal. Activate dramatic reversal. I have infinite mana. Do you also have infinite draws with your commander? Yeah. And I have infinite tokens. I'll, I'll mill you one in response. Fantastic. Oh, okay. I'll draw through my deck until I get Carlos's favorite magic card, Blind Obedience. Nice. And I will kill you with extort triggers. Nice. Nice. Good win, Good win dude. That was the most hard-fought game I've been a part of in CDH and maybe EDH, period. Without red or black, the game really came down to counterspells, stacks, and timing. There was enough interruption in this game that each of us had to restart multiple times. Jason had the win on third turn, but we kept doing everything we could to stop it, and eventually he still got there, just many, many turns later. How did you like our Kamigawa CDH game? Would you like to see us do a CDH game like this again in the future with each new set? Or do you want us to stick to like the regular decks? Let me know down in the comments. We just had the first Utah Command Con at our LGS Game Grid in Lehigh, Utah. Our patrons were able to participate in the event by winning prizes and playmats, as well as playing with our players here at Kingdoms. We are planning another one in a few months, so now is a great time to become a part of the Kingdom. It's only $2 a month or $24 for a year, and you can check out more over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. A special thank you to our Samurai patrons, Revolution Gaming, Martin Christensen, Jordan Ritchie, Dr. Birdseed, John McManus, David Siraj, Chris Crowley, and Worthy Glover. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. Thanks again for watching, and remember, keep it nerdy.